Welcome back nerd squad, today we have a very special list in store for you as we take a closer look at the super abilities of Disney's princess squad in honor of today's sponsor. While at first sight many of these Disney princesses may seem like just your average ladies, they have all accomplished feats that could even manage to rival Marvel's princess and later queen, Shuri of Wakanda. So get ready to get magical, whimsical and go on an adventure of epic proportions with me as we count down the top 10 Disney princesses that you didn't know were superheroes. And feel free to let me know in the comments what your best guesses are for who will make the cut. But before we get counting, a big thank you to Disney for sponsoring this video and allowing us to celebrate the addition of Aladdin to their signature Walt Disney animated collection series. The animated classic joins the highly celebrated Walt Disney signature collection on Blu-ray today, September 10th. You'll probably want to thank them too as they have also given us some copies to give away to you, yay! To enter this contest for the animated classic, all you have to do is head over to our Instagram page at top10nerdofficial, follow us and then like the contest picture and take two friends who you would watch this movie with. You can enter the contest until Thursday, September 12th, and we will be announcing our winners on Friday, September 13th. Along with the animated classic version, the new live action Aladdin film is also available on Blu-ray today as well. To find out more about the giveaway for the live action Aladdin DVDs, head on over to our sister channel, Top 10 Beyond the Screen, and watch the video that they uploaded today. And feel free to show Top 10 Beyond the Screen some love by tapping on that subscribe while you're over there. Thanks again, Disney. All right, let's get counting. Number 10, Cinderella. Cinderella was originally bullied by her stepsisters after the death of her biological mother and father. But despite the fact that she had to do chores all the time, she didn't let this keep her down. In Stephen Sondheim's Into the Woods version of her tale, it is actually implied that she has borderline magical powers and can communicate with her dead mother, who bestows her with some gifts and some luck. In this version, she also realizes after a time that she is happier on her own after debating about what type of life she would like to lead. In the animated classic and live action film, she doesn't travel alone either, as her fairy godmother appears to make her dreams come true. So Cinderella has a backup magic user on her side. Watch out Doctor Strange. She is also often presented as having the ability to communicate with animals and get them to do her bidding. Number 9, Tiana. While you might not think of this shape shifting princess when it comes to a potential superhero, I would point to heroes like Black Widow when it comes to her. She may not be presented as having superpowers, but her commitment and determination to act super and work hard is what makes her stand out as a hero. Tiana from Disney's Princess and the Frog grew up with her father's dream in New Orleans of owning their own restaurant. Inheriting his love and passion for cooking and his values in regards to working hard, she works hard every night and every day, saving up every penny she has in an attempt to open her own restaurant after her father passed away. And even when she is transformed into a frog and is tempted by the shadow man, her strong willpower allows her to resist his illusions and fight back. She frees herself and Prince Naveen from their frog form when she later decides to marry him despite being stuck as frogs thereby becoming a princess and breaking the curse. It is her ability to see the good in others and like Cinderella never give up that would make her such a powerful superhero. Number 8, Ariel. While Tiana is one of my favorite princesses, so is Ariel. When you think of her, you may think of her what's-its and gizmos and the fact that she lost her voice and think, what's so super about that? I feel you. But Ariel is still King Triton's daughter and a mermaid. As we've seen when looking at heroes like Aquaman and Namor, coming from the lost city of Atlantis is nothing to scoff at. If she were part of the Marvel or DC comic book world, just being from the city would mean she was powered. And beyond that, she is Atlantean royalty, which usually means in the comic book world that you have even more abilities granted to you. Just based on her Disney persona, we know that she also has a mesmerizing voice, so powerful that Ursula wants it for herself, implying she already comes with siren or bard like singing slash musical abilities. Oh, and where other princesses can communicate with land creatures, Ariel can communicate with creatures from the sea, like her pals Flounder and Sebastian. Number 7, Merida. Another redhead on the list. Redheads are pretty super, by the way. 
it is known. Merida comes to us from the Scottish Isles and is a princess who aimed to challenge the status quo. Her mother wants to help groom her to be a queen and consort for a new king, but Merida has more interest in adventure, exploring, and her archery. She wants to prove that she doesn't need to get married, that she can rule on her own. After a classic fairy tale mishap where she accidentally turns her mother and later her brothers into bears, she realizes that she still has a lot to learn and that there are many things one needs to know in order to become a good ruler. It's not just about being a good fighter like her dad, but also about being a good speaker, about being intelligent, and ultimately about being brave in the face of challenge or adversity. Her powers mirror that of Hawkeye in regards to her accuracy and prowess with a bow. Beyond that, she also exhibits a connection to the supernatural. Number 6 Moana Make way, make way nerds, it's time you knew how super Moana is. Moana speaks for her people, but also seems to be an environmentalist who speaks for the land and sea as well. She manages to teach herself to sail and with her pal the ocean's help, track down the demigod Maui. The ocean is quite a pal to have by the way, as it covers over 70% of the earth's surface. Never mind having a fairy godmother to back you up, having the ocean back you up would be insane. Moana's determination and her ability to sway others is so strong that she doesn't even need powers to win over Maui. Or does she? One could argue that her persuasiveness allows her to control others. Maybe she is a telepath and we don't even know. She not only influences the demigod, but also demonstrates influence over Tefiti when she is able to break through the goddess's rage as Teka and remind her of her true identity, allowing Moana to restore Tefiti's heart to her and save not just her people, but the entire world. Number 5 Pocahontas Mirroring some of Merida's connection to the supernatural world, Pocahontas Pocahontas can full on feel and communicate with spirits. She often seeks counsel from the tree spirit, Grandmother Willow, who also helps to open Pocahontas' eyes to all the spirits of nature that surround her, becoming both her literal spirit guide and kind of her life coach. Pocahontas can also communicate with animals, although she doesn't seem to talk to them in the same vein of Princess Ariel. She does seem to be able to understand them and confirm their understanding of her though. So not quite on the same level of animal communication as Ariel or Cinderella, but definitely above Moana. Her connection with nature also grants her a connection to the past and potential future. Granting her psychic visions and dreams. Number 4 General Leia Organa. Well, you may not think of Princess Leia as a Disney princess. In my mind, Star Wars being a Disney franchise now earns her the title. Leia is not only a strong ruler and ruthless rebel, but demonstrates her abilities when it comes to being a master strategist, which later earned her the title of general and allowed her to be seen as the respected leader of the Rebellion Alliance. She leads her people to victory and helps to protect them from harm as much as she can always carrying a flag of hope above her people. She is also known to be gifted with the force, and while a lot of fans did not like how they decided to present the strength of her connection in The Last Jedi film, the fact remains that it has always been known that the Skywalkers have a strong connection with the force. It has been explained that the delayed exhibition of her powers came from Leia's strength as a leader. She never wanted to rely on the force, and so she only uses her power when left without any other option. To me, this actually makes her a stronger character and person, as Spider-Man would remind us, with great power comes great responsibility. Number 3 Rapunzel Sure, she lived a sheltered life, locked up in a tower till she was like 18, but all that time only gave Rapunzel more gifts really than it took away. She became a masterful artist, has read countless books, is a skilled musician, chef, fantastic at darts and chess, seamstress, and could probably outcraft just about anyone. Beyond that, she's obviously strong enough to pack a few punches, as someone who is constantly lowering her mother up and down the tower almost daily. We see this demonstrated when she knocks out Flynn easily with her trusty frying pan. Beyond this, she has magical hair, and even without it, it isn't fully known what other magical properties the flower granted her after her biological mother consumed it while she was still in her womb have given her. And she has a charm factor of like 11. Her charm factor alone could get her put on this list. Charm can be very powerful. Number 2 Mulan Similar to Princess Tiana, Mulan is on this list for her ingenuity and willpower. Rather than let her sick father ride off to war, and in an attempt to win back her family honor, Mulan rides off to war in his place, disguising herself as a man. She trains very hard and becomes one of the best warriors. When she discovers that the Huns were not defeated, she actually hurries to warn the Emperor, but when no one believes her, she is forced to rely not even on her strength, but her smarts to come up with a plan. She does so, and with the help 
help of her friends in some disguises, defeats the Huns, and saves China. For this, she is offered the honor of being an advisor and assistant to the emperor himself, and is glorified as a war hero. Saving China is a pretty impressive feat, and doing so without even really being allowed to physically fight. Is even more impressive. Number one, Elsa. You were all waiting for that one, I'm sure. <laughs> I couldn't have a list like this without Elsa. The queen of ice and snow has a power that rivals that of X-Men founding member Robert Drake aka Iceman. Not only can Elsa build giant palaces of ice, freeze creatures and massive bodies of water, but she can create sentient beings with her powers. She creates snow guardians and is even responsible for the life of Olaf, everyone's favorite blissfully ignorant snowman, who was built by Elsa and Anna when they were little girls. Her lack of control over her powers makes her dangerous but by the end of Frozen, she has a better handle of them after facing her fears surrounding her parents and her loneliness. After facing her fears surrounding the loss of her parents and her loneliness. What's more, her powers make her immune to feeling or suffering from the cold. It never bothered her. Thank you so much for watching Nerd Squad. I hope you enjoyed this video. Would you like more Disney nerd content? You may have noticed I'm a huge animated fan when it comes to films and cartoons, so I personally love helping to create content like this for you. Who is your favorite Disney princess or character? And what's your favorite Disney film? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. Also, honorable mention to Lilo, who is not included on this list because she's not really a princess or powered, but gee, she is sure awesome. Definitely one of my favorite Disney characters. And of course, an honorable mention to Disney's Princess Jasmine, who also stars in Aladdin and is super in her own right. Thank you to Disney for sponsoring this video, by the way. Be sure to follow the instructions in the intro if you would like to participate in our animated classic Aladdin giveaway. And as always, be sure to like, share, sub, and ring that bell. Till next time, this is Top 10 Nerd, and I'm your host, Amanda McKnight, reminding you to stay magically nerdy, YouTube.